Hi Cancer, Rose Bennett here. I thought I'd try a different setting today and uh, I also had a message from Spirit about doing a reading for you in terms of um, is my abundance coming right? Because I think this is often a question that we want answers from the divine is, is abundance coming for me? So what I'm going to do is I've got four decks here. I'm going to pull you a couple of cards from each deck. And it's really about guidance on that and also what you need to do in terms of focusing on which life path or purpose that might help you to bring that abundance in. And I'm also going to be using uh, some cards from the crystal deck as well in terms of things perhaps that you need to work on to bring your abundance in. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly pull you two cards from the life purpose deck. So it's not going to be a full reading. It's just going to be a real quick one. And uh, yeah, just to give you a heads up, a little bit of guidance around abundance. All right. Actually, these three want to come out. So I'm just going to pull them. We've got four. All right. We will take what comes out. All right. Okay. So the first one you've got is artist. And it's saying that engaging in artistic activities can help your career in every area of your life. And often that's about bringing your creativity to the forefront. Um, you've got the author card, which says that you have a book within you. That is something that you are thinking of doing. Wow. It's saying that you have a support card. So your life purpose is fully supported at this time by the divine. And your life purpose includes travel, which <laughs> don't we all love that? All love that. All right. I'm going to pull you a couple of cards from the goddess guidance deck in terms of abundance. Okay, so you've got Aphrodite, which is inner goddess, and it's saying to release your inner goddess, and that can apply to men and women, right? And it's about appreciating your divinity, perhaps a little bit more self-care. Um, often this can come around um, about balance. Okay, this one that just dropped out is White Tara, which is saying that you're becoming increasingly sensitive to the energies around you. So just be mindful of that, particularly what types of things that you're consuming. Wow, you've got a lot here in terms of um, passion. Okay, all right, so you've got Pell, and it says um, to actually follow your heart's desires, right? So in terms of success and abundance, if you want that success and abundance, because you've got a lot of stuff here coming up about creativity. And it's about being really honest with yourself and asking yourself what it is that I truly desire. Because often we can look at abundance and, and have that job going, yeah, that's going to get it for me. But really, sometimes when you free yourself up and follow your passions is when your abundance comes in. All right, I'm going to pull one more. Mm. So you've got a star of fertility and it's saying it's the perfect time to start new projects and plans. And, um, yeah, giving birth to your ideas. Giving birth to your ideas. All right, I'm going to pull you, actually before I do, I'm going to pull you a couple from the crystal reading deck to see what advice there is from the divine about one, whether abundance and success is coming, but also perhaps something you need to work on in terms of um, releasing yourself and bringing that abundance in. Oh, cool. You've got sunstone empowerment, which is all about stepping into your power Trusting yourself, believing in yourself, right? And going for it. Just going for it, Cancer. What else do you need to know? Mm, hematite. So it's all about grounding and balancing yourself, making sure that you take that time out for self-care. And when you do that, it's also, I think, grounding. I'm getting the message for you, healthy body, healthy mind as well, right? Looking after your body with um, good food, exercise, as well as grounding yourself. Because you're going to be much more prepared. Ah, oh, okay. And you've got the Divine Temple card, the Source card, which is a Master Teacher card, which basically says that your connection to Spirit and the Divine is growing. And you also have the power to be a spiritual teacher, a spiritual healer, and it might be something that you want to do through writing a book and sharing that knowledge. It could be your path to abundance. All right. And now I'm going to provide you with some specific guidance. Um with the angel tarot, right? Let's see what comes out. Oh, here we go. Mm, okay. So it's the ten of air and it's saying it's the end of a difficult situation. So if you've been going through something challenging, um, heads up, it's about to pass. You're coming out the other side, right? Things are looking up. 
Oh, you will love to get that message. You do. All right. Mm, okay. So you've got the moon card. So you've got Archangel Hany, all right. And what it's saying is release any fears that are holding you back. There is stuff happening behind the scenes that you're not aware of yet that's coming. Um, to trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Oh, cool. All right. Heads up, Cancer. Three of fire abundance is coming in, all right? There's this amazing dragon sitting here, right, with a girl with her back to us. And it's basically saying that um, everything's looking good, abundance is coming. Be patient and make long-term plans. All right, I'm going to pull one more for you. I love it when the abundance card comes up. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And you've also got the ten of water, right, which is saying that you've got a very contented family life or it's coming soon, it's going to be coming into your reality. Um, your emotional and material met, needs are going to be met. You're, um, you have to trustworthy relationships around you. So cool reading there for you, Cancer. All right, I hope you found this helpful. Um, now, if you like this, please subscribe to my channel. Happy to hear your feedback and your comments. And also... I don't know if you saw a couple of weeks ago, I did a uh, distance energy healing. I will be doing one regularly. So the next one is going to be scheduled for the month of March and it's going to be on the 17th on the new moon that's coming in. So you can set your intentions and release anything that you need to release off to step into not only your abundance, but anything else you want to draw into your life. And I'll put the details about how to get involved in that in the description box below. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.